One, two, three, woo! Ha! Yeah! Oh my god, that, I know. That actually cool. worked. So here it is. The newly refurbished Elma Mott Combo. Michael Weckerly, the owner, is his six years Under of your palms, blood, sweat, palms. and tears to get this place open. And we look around here. What do you think? Are you happy with your work? Uh, you know, what? for six years I was coming here, and I was kind of like, oh man, it's not this problem, not this problem. So there was always issues. As I came down about two or three months ago, I go, I'm there. It's coming, and now I'm excited. You got you got the main stage here on the second floor. How long is it going to take to get Michael Weckerly up there with some big name oh, you band? Know you know, as I tell people, you know, I always want to play the Elma Combo. I played a few venues in Toronto when I was a kid, and I, I looked the part, but I was terrible. And uh, they never would let me play here. So I finally played the Elma Combo. I decided to buy it first. And you've done something pretty unique here. You got this main stage here, yeah. but then you got another stage downstairs. You could have two shows going simultaneously yeah, at no, the I can same time. I can play downstairs. I got Joan Baez up here. They're totally isolated, totally soundproof. And it's really unique because that was the thesis here is that we can have people interacting. We have an elevator that goes up and down with all the acoustics. So it's really simple for a band to come in here, plug in, and do what they want to do. You two played their first show here in 1980 in North America. They got paid, out of the, out of the uh, score sheet, they got paid $500. So this is a pretty good view up here. It's the best view. I don't think there's a place in North America that has this intimacy of a stage we extended the stage by four feet, so everywhere in this whole second floor has a perfect view of the stage, and I think it's really unique. These are the seats that uh, I think that, that are gonna be the creme de la creme, and uh, you know, when you come here, and you look at any venue you've ever gone to, you know, if you wanna be front stage at any event, you know, you always have people around you. This is one of the few events that you're actually sitting here at a kind of an opera setting, you know, when I look at it, you know, and I think that the key thing here is that you're able to have that intimacy with the artist. This is your audio visual, audio, and this is your visual. And one of the cool things here is we have robotic cameras and you have editing. So I can do editing where I want to do a stream, whether I want to do a quick kind of, you know, um, post of something on YouTube or I want to do a full production environment. You originally wanted this sign outside. I did, and it was terrible. It was in such disrepair. If you look at this, man. They had to repair this thing, and we had to re-infuse it, but it was so, uh, what I would say, anti-economic, you know? It was, uh, you know, so much electricity, it would burn out and everything. So we butterflied it, and we lit it up as a stage show now. I do believe at the end of the day, it is Toronto's bar. It's not my bar, it's Toronto's bar. And everyone who participated in making this happen is part of the April opening. And that's what April's going to be. It's going to be a Canadiana month. And there's a little insight I'll give you.